Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much uh, for taking the time out for yourself, being able to embrace your gift, seeing what isn't really truly out there for you to see. And you, if you pay attention to the signs, your dreams, your daydreams, just things that, you know, synchronize that come come towards you um, and just embracing the unknown is truly a blessing. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. Also, if you feel like you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's, you know, about the content, you know, the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up tell me about your impact the gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction and if you feel like the videos give you good vibes or good information that you would love to share with a loved one or friend or a fellow empath please go ahead and share away and thank you so much for the love and support. Oh, also give me a thumbs up, like, and you've been sharing social media favorites. Thank you so much for the love and support that you have been giving me. It's so greatly appreciated. And and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Y'all, I don't know what it is. See, the last few videos, my, my energy is so high. And I went through so much in the last 24 yeah, 24 to 48 hours since the last time I did some videos. It's really been trying, but it was like all my my family and plus people that love me and you know just people anybody that has been sending me good vibes it's like i've been feeling it today and it's like my energy is so crazy that's why i'm just like you know when i feel the love and i feel positive energy i love to spread it on towards other people so i'm doing that today well i do that all the time when i'm doing videos anyway but today this beautiful meditation music i'm gonna go ahead and turn it up you really can't hear it uh is 432 hertz enlightenment healing music clean or uh aura cleanse and all seven uh thing that messed up on me all seven chakra cleanse positive energy boost and i will post that link in the description box below it's probably the reason why i'm feeling stuff now excuse me y'all you know, I have my box of drinks every once in a while because it takes a lot of energy to do these videos. Like I said, all this um, lights. I've never seen somebody do video, especially like mine, and lights start shooting across, like energy lights come flying through. But anyways, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, when you face your own spiritual, your your spiritual war war room. We, uh, I was just like, what, you know, all these different, like when I asked for content to my videos, all of a sudden all these things just start coming out. We need you to talk about this. We need you to talk about this because so many people are going through different things. I'm like, war room. I remember I right hearing about the movie, but it's just certain things that if I know it will affect me a certain way, I don't watch stuff like that. You know, it's just like when it comes to gospel movies, the only thing, the one I actually watched like the one uh passion of the christ and i said i couldn't and I only watch that one time and it was like the first time we seen it in the movie theater and i took my mom and i knew my mom had a bad heart i'm like mom you know they're already saying people who <laughs> got bad hearts can't go you know they they forewarned them not to go see this movie and two senior citizens passed away in the movie theater because of all that trauma that was coming out from the video and it was just too much but you know i heard the movie war room was really good or whatever i'll just take people word for it i was i'm a comedy action uh horror movie girl i ain't all into that mm -mm, i'm good I, I deal with my own spiritual stuff as it is but uh if i'm drawn to it i'll go ahead and watch it but war room we go through it every day we fight our daily battles or we prayer we, we use prayer we meditate we have to push positive energy towards our lives because we're going through so much you need your own war room where you you know you're fighting wars with yourself on a daily basis you know i was just doing a video about you know you, you we for you know we deal with our daily battles now they're telling me rosalind we i need you to talk about war rooms because a lot of people are going through some really hellish stuff right about now especially going through spiritual awakening i mean i've seen so many people that you know that i went to school with 
you know, one of my friends uh, that I've known for years that, I mean, we clicked and it's just like, we, you know, I still send him love and stuff like that. He, he just lost his brother, the youngest, the baby, you know, and they're not, they're still in their, I mean, their thirties, but he was in his twenties. They just found him unresponsive. And I always used to, you know, when I used to see him, it always made me take a bag. I'm like, what, what's going on with him? Why do I get these vibes about you? And it's not like something bad, but it was something that really stuck out to me, like his you know, if you ever been around somebody and their their aura just just snatches you up like that, and I never knew why, and then I end up finding out 10, 15 years later he was gonna be that one that dies, and end up waking up the whole family, and they're still trying to understand why. But it's like we go through so many different things in life. You know, I was just talking about the the rapper that just passed away, and then come to find out anybody who even talked about you know, a certain doctor that was trying to find cures or had the cure for all these different fatal diseases, terminal diseases. And now all of a sudden these people are just getting knocked out left and right. And they were like, oh, you know, it's just, you know, an ego thing. This guy got shot. No, it goes deeper than that. It goes deeper than that. Nobody, somebody probably paid this fool to go ahead and do that because they already knew he was off. He was a loose cannon. Sometimes that happens. You know, I really feel like that even when it came to President Kennedy, I think there was something kind of like that, even though he wasn't a president, but he was pushing out so much positivity in people's lives. Now his death is going to set an example for many millions of people to wake up and realize, you know, we're all in a battle. You know, we, we struggle with ourselves, you know, being able to be Hayokas and just impasse well enough alone is a battle within itself because we deal with so much energy we deal with so much energy we do we see ugliness out on the world to where it really affects us in so many different ways you know you could be talking to one of your friends and knowing they're going through something it's going to affect you in a major way you know i always you know my, my daughter you know she's spiritually awakened my other two was like if i tell them oh you're going through this and they're like uh mom i ain't want to talk about that that's just weird you know but the other one is just like she's my middle one and that's the one that clashed with me all the time because i call her mini me because me and her is too much alike and it's just like i can you know comfortably just come out and tell her she was like mom you know i'm going through this and this and that do you know why and you know and i'll tell her you know because we end up having a oil and water relationship like me and my mom me and her used to fight like fight and fuss and fight but now it's just like it took her to go through it to get to it for her to mom she she tells me mom i'm so glad i went through this with you because it made me so strong i went through so many things and you know with you being a parent you always worry about your children you always you know especially when they're branching out to adulthood you still worry about them you know worrying that they're okay are they eating well are they around the right people and all these different things but it's just like we have that war within ourselves we pray every day because you're going through personal issues it might be financial it might be family relationship you know job you know household all together and it's just like we need to stay strong we need to stay vigilant you know resilient all these you know these extra words you know um going through these different things we fight a battle with ourselves every day we fight our spiritual battles every day you could be losing faith like i, I you know i was going through that today going through it yesterday because it just seems like everything was coming at me and I had a really heavy vibe and I tell y'all all the time if I feel heavy like that I've tried to you know put that facade up like oh everything's okay and then it's just like that one empath or two empaths hey Rosalind you all right I'm like damn I can't get past nothing with y'all that's why I keep it real if I feel like I'm gonna lie I'm not even about to perch my mouth up to even lie because somebody gonna catch me on it that's why it's like when somebody comes at me and tell me something oh you know they said you were fake i said that obviously they're not a real empath because <laughs> they would know anybody that's a real empath would know either if they you know they feel in some type of way about me they'll they'll have something bad to say or you're just not an empath because you would know when i'm lying you would know when you're getting fed bs but i had to learn within myself things happen the way they happen it's not the fact that you're you know um being attacked even though you are being attacked but you can't allow things to happen you know somebody say you know I, i'll tell people people will block your blessings they do but god's power is not going to allow things to happen because he'll open doors for you that no man can't shut no matter how much they don't want that you know they're trying to put a little door stopper in there gotta bust that bust it off the frame you know if it's meant for you at that time divine timing 
you know, when it's at that time, when he knows that you're, you're strong in your mind, strong in your soul, strong in your heart and your energy, knowing that you, you're determined to not let anything affect you in any kind of way, knowing if you can find peace within the war with yourself, them, them, your blessings going to come at you and it's going to be right when you least expect it. I hear that all the time because it's like right now I'm ready, but I'm not all the way ready like I need to be because my faith is kind of shaky. My patience is shot. I'm a Taurus, you know, May 19th. <laughs> my butt don't have no patience. Like I almost had road rage again today because it was like, it's a 30 mile, 35 mile hour where I'm at. You know, I had to go back and pick my daughter up because she has a half day since she's a senior. And it was somebody doing 20 miles an hour. I'm like, seriously? ain't even we ain't even school zone yet what the hell you sent up for slowed down for i don't seen about two snails that went past you and a daggone turtle's turtle i mean uh them turtles whatever you know and i'm just getting aggravated like i'm about to go around next thing you know we had to stop like the stop like done turn green next thing you know this man car cut off i'm like are you freaking serious like it's like all kind of crazy you know my energy is crazy y'all see these lights going past like i told y'all it's not that bright outside so it's not like the reflections coming from the window and the light from here is just you'll see it reflect from back there but yeah, it's just like we go through things. We have our personal war room. You know, I try to have my room is my sanctuary. You know, if you've been with me for a while, you know I was in my four year. I call it, you know, my spiritual room, my sanctuary. You know, I, I've got sanctuary one and two. I used to call that little Jamaica when I used to smoke all the time because I mean it was just positive energy in there. People would come in there like rising. I don't want to leave. You know, your house is just so comfortable and so homey. What are you doing? I said like, it's just my spirit well enough alone in here make you not want to leave because it's like we're, it's boring crazy out there and it's so peaceful in here. You know, so it's just like we have to find that strength within ourselves to allow ourselves not to be like Pink said, don't let me get me. <laughs> I love Pink and that's my song, don't let me get me. I'm my own worst enemy. And you, you have to really do that with yourself. So I hope you're able to resonate with content of my video. I love y'all so much. I hope you have a blessed day weekend. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give a shout out to Marley December. Uh, Miguel her, uh, her title, her title, I think that's how you pronounce your last name. And much love to y'all, many blessings. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there's better days is coming. Praying for somebody's better days. I pray for y'all every day, and I love you from the bottom of my heart. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Be humble and patient with yourselves, and don't be so hard. And knowing whatever you're going through is going to be a day to day basis. And remember, everything when it's bad is temporary. Just I gotta tell myself that every day. But like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop me a line. I would love the chance to hear from you. Get your positive feedback on the content of this video, and I will see you on my next one. Much love, peace, and be wild.